Welcome to another Brownie Bites edition of It's Always Game Day in Cleveland. I'm Daryl Ryder coming to you from Cross Country Mortgage Campus in Berea, where the Browns wrapped up another day at training camp, the first of two joint practices against the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, the day started with some really good news. Linebacker Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa got extended. His contract, three-year extension, $39 million, $25 million of that guaranteed. Here's JOK's reaction to getting to stay in Cleveland. Been a uh, while negotiating, uh, but man, it feels good. It feels like uh, I'm loved, right? It feels like that you know, I have an opportunity to respond um, to you know, a lot of the different things that's going on in my life and, and a lot of the different things that have been going on. And it feels good to be you know, locked into a place and have the place also respect you and, and, and give you honor as well. So it's a strong knowing, right? Uh, so I, I would say I believed, right? But you never really know how the NFL operates, right? There's so many different uh, things can be thrown at you. so. You have to be appreciative when you know you could be drafted to a team and then the team extends you uh, more years, right? So there's always a sense of honor there. You know, as a football player, your job is to focus on the field. Uh, you know, that's why you hire an agent. That's why you hire, you know, financial advisors. You know, you have uh, to hire chefs, right? You have to hire all of these different uh, resources to be able to be, um, you know, that accommodation, that accommodation uh, between, you know, whether you trying to eat, whether you're trying to do, you know, contracts, right? You have people for that. So uh, it's not a distraction at all. You know, it's a process that everybody everybody has to go through eventually. And uh, you just have to focus on uh, the now and, and, and the then, right? I'm not quite at those those guys' levels. I may be on one of the hills around here in Cleveland. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're up there. Uh, but as time goes on, you know, I look to be where they're at. I look to uh, transcend the mountain and continue to work to be the best player and teammate that I can. When I walked in the building, you know, well, it was a good feeling just to know that I, you know, Stability, security, and uh, you know, those things are the biggest two things for you know, a young player that you know, looks to do not only things on the field, but also things off the field. Uh, stability is, is something that's very key uh, for guys like me that want to get involved in the community, wanting to take um, you know, that responsibility to help and solve problems. So uh, you know, I'm very glad for the opportunity and, and wish to honor that opportunity uh, that I've been given. In a statement announcing JOK's extension, Brown's executive vice president of football operations and general manager Andrew Berry described JOK as, quote, a heat-seeking missile with shape-shifting movement skills that would make Neo, Trinity, and Morpheus blush. How's that for a quote? Here's what Brown's head coach Kevin Stefanski had to say about extending his Pro Bowl linebacker. Very happy for Jeremiah. Uh, he's a guy that, as we've talked about, is a great scheme fit for how we play. He's a great cultural fit and uh, how he is on the practice fields in the building, uh, you know, really brings the energy to his teammates. So ha happy for him. Uh, you know, I, he's still a young player. Uh, he's still, I think he's still a, a player that's getting better. Uh, I think there's more that Jeremiah can do. I think he knows that. Uh, and that's certainly something that he it's not like this is just uh, something that he stops progressing, if you will. So he's still a young player that's working on his craft, and we're excited about that. Now to the not-so-pleasant news. A day after rookie defensive tackle Mike Hall was arrested and charged with domestic violence, Hall was on the practice field on Wednesday. Now, Hall did not complete the practice. He did suffer an undisclosed injury, walked off with trainers with about 30 minutes to go. After practice, Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski fielded at least seven questions uh, about the situation, and here's a look at some of those responses. You guys have questions uh, about Mike Hall. Uh, respectfully, I don't have much to add. Um, I'm going to let legal proceedings play out, uh, but – and. I understand that you have to ask a question, but I really don't have much on that subject. But with that, I'll take any questions. I can't get into all the details, guys. I'll just tell you, we're going to let the legal proceedings play out. Respectfully, and I understand the question. I don't have much to add. I understand the question. I would tell you, uh, we really just have to respect the process. I understand what you're asking, honestly. But uh, for us, we have to trust uh, in, in the process, and, and, and really, it's, it's that. I think, again, I'm not going to look into I'm going to not talk past today. Uh, I just tell you, I need we need to respect the process here. Yeah, I, I, I can't get into specifics, Mary Kay, uh, other than to tell you, um, you know, we'll continue to, to continue to let the process play out. 
Now to the practice against the Vikings and uh, seemed to be a pretty good day for the defense. We had our eyes on uh, the Browns first team offense against the Vikings first team defense on the other field. But a lot of cheering, a lot of chirping coming from Browns defenders on that other field. So it sounded like it was a really good day for the Browns defense. Not such a good day for the Browns offensive line. It was ugly at times. We counted at least seven flags thrown, at least three virtual sacks. Uh, there were also two fumbles from Brown's running backs. Here's head coach Kevin Stefanski on a tough day for his offensive guys in the trenches. Uh, we need to be way better offensively from an operation standpoint. That was not good. And some of it was the cadence, uh, some of it was the uh, they weren't false starts. Some of them were the, the tackles were aligned too deep at times. So those are all things that are correctable and we will correct them. I think it's twofold. I think they have good rushers. I think, you know, credit to them. I also think that front gives us way more variation than we've seen. So we need that work. We need to talk through it as an offensive line, tight end group, uh, running back, quarterback, just get on the same page there. Those are all valuable conversations that we, we definitely need to have. I, I think today was not a great uh, was a not a great day for protectionists, but I'd say more from a miscommunication standpoint. They really challenge you. I think Coach Flores does an awesome job uh, in, in a bunch of areas, but no, one of the key areas that they do a nice job is they confuse you. Uh, they give you different looks. They can blitz anybody from anywhere. So that's incredible work for us. And I thought the quarterbacks, by and large, uh, saw it pretty well. One other news item to pass along, cornerback Denzel Ward is in concussion protocol. He suffered that apparently on Monday during a one-on-one -on -one drill while he was uh, thudding up against Elijah Moore. Stefanski emphasizing and reiterating again uh, because we saw Pierre Strong get shaken up during Wednesday's practice against the Vikings. He took a pop in the middle of the pile and dropped the football. It was one of the, the two fumbles we saw Stefanski reiterating uh, the importance of uh, thudding up, not tackling or hitting too hard uh, in these uh, practice settings. Yeah, we thud the runner, meaning you can fit the runner up. Obviously, we don't, we don't take cheap shots and those type of things, but uh, there is, we do, it is thud, so it's, it's uh, not tackle, it's not wrap them up, but it is uh, thud. So that'll do it for another Brownie Bites edition of It's Always Game Day at Clue. I want to thank you, as always, for downloading and subscribing wherever you get your podcasts. And for those of you that watch us on YouTube, of course, you can find us on that free Odyssey app. For my partner, Andy Baskin, I'm Daryl Ryder, reminding you, it's always game day in Cleveland.